Hi, I'm Mike, and today I want to introduce you to the named tuple in Python. But first, let's talk about what we're going to learn. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about regular tuples so that you know what they are. Then we're going to talk about what a named tuple is. Then we're going to create a named tuple. I'll also talk about converting dictionaries to named tuples. And we'll also talk about typing a named tuple because that's a little bit different. And when I say typing, I mean using type annotations to create a named tuple. All right, let's start with regular tuples. Now, a regular tuple is just a data type in Python. And to create a regular tuple, you use regular parentheses with one or more items. You know, to access a tuple uh, item, you need to use kind of a slicing type index uh, syntax. So if we run this code, you can see that the second item is 1200. If you change this to a 3, we get 10. If you change it to a 5, we get an error because we went outside the tuple because there's only four items in here, starting with, with 0 being 1, 2, 3, 4. So, and by the way, if you want to create a tuple with only one item in it, you need to have that little comma in there or it won't work. If you do this, um, it becomes a string and now you're accessing um, the items in the string instead of the tuple. So just keep that in mind when you're playing around with tuples, that if you have a, only one item in it, it needs to have the comma to turn it into a one item tuple. All right, let's move on and see how you can extract all of the items from a tuple. So if you know how many items are in the tuple, you can use this kind of syntax where you create the number of variables that you want and just extract them all from the, the tuple. This is really a nice way to extract them, but wouldn't it be better if we could just access them by name? That is where named tuples come in. So what is a named tuple? It is a factory function for creating tuple subclasses with named fields. Exactly what I'd like to do. The named tuple comes from the collections module in Python. So let's learn how to create a named tuple. To create a named tuple, we just do from collections, import named tuple. And then to add, create it with different names, you do name tuple, parts is the class name, and then these are the space delimited attributes in our parts class. So now we basically have a parts class here, but it's a named tuple class. And we now can do auto parts equal to parts and then pass in and set all of these items up. And then we'll be able to access them by attribute. So that's, that's super cool. We can now access them. Let's see if we can actually change any of these. I'm just curious. So we want to change the cost. We made it too, too expensive. Whoops. Just as with tuples, tuples are immutable and named tuples are immutable too. So once you have a named tuple created, you can't go changing any of the items in it. You can just access them. Um, let's do a type of auto parts and see what that is. So as you can see, auto parts is from the parts class, which is what we created up here. Let's see what parts is. So parts is a, cl a, part is a class type, basically. It's a type of type. So what we're doing here is we're creating basically a class called parts with these attributes. And it is a named tuple, but it's really hard to tell by using the type module what it is. Anyway, I find named tuples really helpful in creating stuff. Um, a lot of people now use data classes instead of named tuples. But anyway, let's talk about this some more. Let's try converting a dictionary into a named tuple. So here we create, we import a named tuple. We have this dictionary of everything that we had before. And now to convert it to named tuple, we do this weird syntax where we say named tuple parts, grab the keys, and then we just call it by even passing in um, the parts dictionary. And this works, but the code is kind of hard to understand. So I broke it down a little bit more to show you what's happening. So here we, get, we again have the parts. We, have the, we create the, the named tuple. And here we're actually creating the auto parts. So this kind of explodes the 
keys and values and sets them for us um, using the syntax, which you can also use with a class. You can set all the class attributes doing the same kind of thing um, using the star star syntax. But it's just kind of a weird way to think about it. And when you look at the previous code, um, we're doing the same thing, we're just shortcutting it by, we, we, should, we should really call this auto parts because we're not creating a, a parts named to polymer, we're actually creating the auto parts because we're just calling it directly there. Because as you can see, um, parts is now callable right here. So we're just shortcutting that up above. Anyway, let's go on and learn about typing a name tuple. So I did this, this conversion process of going from Python 2 to Python 3 and found out that you have to type, if I want to do it correctly, I need to type or add type hinting to my name tuples. And type hinting a name tuple is kind of its own little beast. Instead of using the collections module, you use the typing module. So from typing, import name to tuple, create a subclass, and then you just do all of this code. ID num is int, description is a string, cost is a decimal, amount is an int. And then it's basically the same kind of code. You still call parts with what you want to, and then you can just print out everything the way you would expect. So it still works the same way, and I don't believe um, you can set anything. So let's say we want to change the ID num to two. You're still going to get an attribute error because we're still using a name to tuple here, and it's still you know, immutable. So that's another way to do it. If you do want to be able to change the values and still have a very similar syntax, you can use a data class here instead of a name to tuple. But if you like that immutability, use name tuples instead. All right, so let's wrap this up. Today we learned about regular tuples, a little bit about them anyway. We learned what a named tuple is. We learned how to create a named tuple. We also learned how to convert a dictionary to a named tuple. And finally, I showed you how to use type, Python's type annotation library to create a named tuple. I really hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll hope to see you next time as well.